All right, welcome to Lizards of the Toast, and I'm here with my boy Harrison, and he's not playing on his cool Mac because he didn't want to go grab it downstairs, but he is playing a Gruel Breach Storm deck, and uh, it's a budget deck that he built himself, and he thinks he's good enough to take on Eight Rack Scam. So let's uh, see who goes first here. We will use these big fancies. All right, you ready, buddy? Boom, four. Boom, three. Oh, it's Rack City, Utah. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, Harrison, the way we got this, I want to keep our cards here and our lands here, buddy. So you want to tell the people at home about that deck? How many times have you played it so far? Probably about... 10 or 15. Nice. Okay. And how many times have you played against 8-Rack? The Mono Black Scam. Maybe 5 or 6. Nice. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to stick with this. I'm going to play Urborg, Tomb of Yogmoth, And... I think... I'm going to exile Undying Evil from my hand. I'm going to evoke Grief so I get to see your hand. I'm going to tap Urborg and do Not Dead After All. So Grief will leave and come back. Um, tapped with the Wicked Roll token on it. Isn't that nice how that works? <laughs> Alright. So... Let me see your hand, Sarah. I already revealed it to you. I gotta choose those cards for you to discard. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, we can't have that. Oh no. Oh, oh, eh, eh, I, oh, that's a storm. Storm likes that card. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a bad person. This kid wanted to do this. All right. So. Oh, that's ten. It's your turn, my buddy. I'm going to play a forest and I'll pass. Oh. Alright. Draw. Okie dokie. I will tap one and I'm going to play Inquisition of Kozilek. Target player reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-land card of it with converted mana cost three or less. And... Oh my goodness, it's a squirrel. Get out of here. Who do you think you are with those squirrels? And I'm going to hit you for four. I think I'm an innocent person that you're hurting for no reason. Oh, is that what you think, laddie? <laughs> hey, you picked the deck, man. You you said, I'm going to take on Rack. This is a strong deck. It's not a weak one. This kid made a good breach storm. I like it. All right. It's all you, buddy. Play a mountain. That's a mountain. One, two. Tap one for Monastery Swift Sphere. Things are happening. And then I'm going to tap one for Signal Past. Um. Tri no. It does not trigger. This is a creature. I know. Yeah, I know. I know the artifact thing. And I'm just going to attack for one. All right. Bink. Pass. Boop. Boop. All right. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, let's see here. I guess I'll tap Herb. We're going to play Thought Seize and lose two life, but you reveal your hand. I choose a non-land card from it, and there are two lands. I thought maybe... All right, but in any case, I will swing at you with the four mana or the four with menace. All you, buddy. Somebody's getting mana blocked a little bit. What was your life at? I accidentally knocked your life counter. Oh, that's right. Okay. Draw. Untap. You hit me for one, and then I paid two Wait. for thought seize, which was foolish. Forest, and then one, 
I'm gonna play Wild Canter. Nice. And then I'm going to swing with my signal pest and my monastery swift spear. So Swifty will get a bump from that. So fifteen. Alright. Pass. Nice. Okie dokie, what do we got here? Oh, baby! We love to see it. Urza's Saga. That's a little Saga marker. Alright, so we're going to tap one a twosies. And I think I'm going to play Orcish Bowmasters. When it enters the battlefield, whenever an opponent draws a card, except the first one they draw on each of their turns, bad things happen. They lose a life and I amass an Orc army. So, I deal one damage to any target. Uh, I suppose I should do the to Monastery Swift Spear. One, or wait, she's a 1-2. I'll do it to the Signal Pest, I guess. And I'll swing at you for 4. With the Menacing Menace. Alright. All you, buddy. Hey, buddy. It's all you, buddy. Untap. Hmm. Not much I can do. I'm gonna play a Wooded Foothills to tap, sacrifice it, pay a life. Searching for a mountain or a forest. Harrison got some pre release Wooded Foothills from Modern Horizons 3. I mean, Commander Masters 3. Commander Horizons 3. Got that mountain there. That's a mountain. Where do you get all those cool lands from? Does your uncle hook you up with cool lands? Yeah. Alright. I shuffle. I'm the lizard and Harrison is the gecko, right? I thought I told you that. You're the gecko of the roast. And I'm the lizards of the toast. Look at him there. And I'm going to... Pass. All right. Let's see what kind of things we can make. You want to cut this? Nah, you're good. All right. Oh, Nelly. Do you have any cards in hand, my friend? Yeah. One. One. All right. Rack. Mm-mm. Okay, I'm gonna tap one black and I'm gonna fatal push um, that. Destroy target creature, but has converted mana cost two or less. And in addition, I'm gonna swing at you for four. And I'll pass. I hate when I can't yeah. make my my servo tap. thing, yeah. Was it the to play construct mountain. artifact creature? I'm gonna play an ornithopter and I'm gonna pass. Oh man. Alright. Alright. No cards in hand, right? Alright. So I think what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna. Pay one black, and I'm going to do Surgical Extraction. Choose target card in a graveyard other than a basic land card. Search your owner's graveyard hand and library for any number of cards with the same name as that card and exile them. I'm going to choose Monastery. Actually, you got Wooded Foils. Um, I think, though, I'm going to get Chatterstorm out of there. I got one exiled. Uh, let's see here. They're easy to find, too. One, two, one. And three. All right. There's those. On to the game forever. Unless I had a card in here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's true. colorless. Yep. All right. All right, Johnny Sideboard. There you go. You can cut him if you want. And uh, this is tapped. 
I can't use the colorless really, so I'll just tap it, sag it for its effect. Got to untap that thing, dang it. All right. So. Rick! There's the rack. Get to play it without paying its mana cost. And how many cards do you have in hand again? I'll pass the turn to you, buddy. And oh! <laughs> You might think you're gonna give your uncle a smack, but you better learn a lesson about messing with the rack. <laughs> it's not even the rack anymore, it's like mono black scam. With a, a couple racks in it for good measure. But you got killed by the rack. People say, that's not eight rack, but for some reason I always seem to kill people with the rack. But for not being eight rack, it is very strange. All right, get our tokens that we will need there. And I don't even think I'm going to sideboard any. Uh, nah. What the heck. I'm lazy. I'm, I'm lazy. I got a couple pithing needles in here. Who needs it? Who needs it? All right. I'm rooting for you, buddy. There's nothing more I want than to see this deck get beat. Because it is no fun. It's awkward to play against people, even adults. Have you played your goblin deck on camera yet? Oh, yeah. Well, actually, uh, Ashley plays it against all the good decks, like the expensive ones. Do people think it's her deck? Nope, it's our uh, beginner budget deck to get people into modern on a budget and show them that it's not pay yeah, to play. Yeah, get people into modern. You mean whoop their butts immediately. What? Actually beat, that goblin deck has beat 8-rack consistently, man. And it's not even goblins, really, it's artifact Why? No, I love this. Okay, I'll keep this. It's so annoying. And where are these? I'm gonna. Oh well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with. It. I'm gonna roll with it. All right. I'm gonna play a layer. Tap one. Fun. Pay two, and I'm gonna thought seize you, so I get to see your hand and remove a card from it into the graveyard. It goes. <gasps> There's a lot of ugly stuff there. Oh my goodness. Manamorphos, man. The card's too good. Love it. All right. So we will pass along. Okay. Draw. Forest. Forest. I'm going to pass. All right. This is bad. Oh, no. All right. I'll pass, too. I broke my own rule, Draw. Harrison. I'm going to play a forest. Okay. I'm going to play... Ornithopter. Ooh. <laughs> Pass. All right. Oh, thank you. Castle Lock Twain. Lock Twain? There's, there's underage drinkers at the bar, Lock Twain. You need to get over there. They're drinking sodas double time. All right. You ready for some fun? Yes. Are you ready for some fun? All right. I'm going to go one, two, and I'm going to play the Doofy Void Walker. Remember what he does? He got shadow, so he can't be blocked by creatures that don't have shadow. And he can't block unless a creature has shadow. But if a card would be put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, instead of exile it with a void counter. And I can tap and sacrifice the Doofy. Choose an exiled card an opponent owns with a void counter on it. You may play it this turn without paying its mana cost. All you, buddy. Okay, draw, and tap to play a wild canter. Oh, love that card. And I'm going to... Brings me back. Pass. All right. Very well, sir. Dookie Voidwalker. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. All right. So... This, this is what you do. We're going to go one, two. Now, this is going to be the least fun you've ever had. Okay. I'm going to play this nice foiled ranch mind. And you're going to discard two cards from your hand unless you discard an artifact card from your hand. So you got to do two or discard one artifact. And I'm hoping you don't have one. Do you have an artifact? He doesn't have an artifact. <laughs> yeah, baby. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm mean. Okay. And I might as well swing in with the new theme. Take that. All right. All you, buddy. Okay. Draw. Okay. So, I'm going to first one. I'm going to scale up Wild Canter. Oh, no. Six four. <laughs> and then I'm Six going to four? have, I'm going to convoke the gather courage so it gets plus two plus two so it's a eight six i gotta call you on that because you cannot convoke with a colorless uh, but you can pay yeah i'm gonna pay yeah. one green i'm gonna gather courage perfect so it's an eight six and then i'm going to pay four life here oh my gosh i'm gonna pay four life here for two mutagenic growths so it becomes a 12-10, and I'm swinging at you with a 12-10. Is everybody seeing this? This is real. This really happened. 12 damage, sir. Bringing me down to 6 life. Oh my goodness. What a swing, Harrison. That is amazing. Now how about that for a storm deck? And this guy made this deck himself. I gave him cards in a big box, and I'm like, hey, you know... Whatever, Uncle Rich likes gruel. You know, I know you want to be making modern. He's made a few decks, but what a great play, sir. That's impressive. Let's give him a hand. Let's give him a hand, all right? Look at that. Look at all that damage. All right. We don't want to. We don't want to make his head too big, though. Oh, hey, ah, ooh. Those are some funny noises. A I O. All right, what should we do here? Okay. What do you got in your your graveyard there? Uh, Muty Growths, Gather Courage, Scale Up, Wood Hills, Metamorphose. That's awesome. We've got two Mutagenic Growths and two yeah. Gather Courages. All right. Did you play Manamorph? Now nah, that was before I had the Doothy out. So I never happen. played Manamorphose. You made I me discard it. Okay. So, yeah, there's nothing I want to do there. All right, I'll go one, two, and I will play another Doofy, and I'll swing in for three. And I'll pass him. Yeah. I'm horrified at what's going to happen here. Untap. One, two. Wooded foothills. Woodsy, Tap. footsy. Sacrifice it. Go searching. I'm going to search him. All right, there you go. I got your one damage down for you, too, for the... Yeah. Fix. Okay, got the mountain that I want. We both have very fancy Phyrexian lands. We sure do, and they're both on the board right now. Ain't that fun? And they're both textured. Okay, there. All right. Cut them up, Chuck. All right. And then I'm just going to pass. Nice. All right, I'm rooting for you, dude. I really am. Don't think I'm being mean to this guy. It's because I respect my nephew so much as a magic player that I never give him a break. Right, Harrison? Yeah. Because you don't want me to. Yeah. And I don't need to, really. I want to play real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. Bye. All right. Um, this is what you do. That was my pet frog. It was. His name's Timothy Allen, the frog. Sam's not Timothy Allen. Well, it could be. This is a carrot. No, it's not. Well, it could be a flower. All right, here we go. Are you ready? You want to see what's going to happen? I'm dead. You go boom. I'm going to play the rack. All right. It's three damage to me and game. We're going to tap a black and we're going to fatal push. That's game already. That thing. You got nine. No, that's game already. I have zero cards in hand. Two doofies. Two doofies. Past turn. Okay, good game. Ooh, good game, man. Hey, that was close. All right. I, you wanted to play Arak, man, but hey, that deck's tough. You Very good game, my friend. Can we keep on filming? Of course we can, but this is ending now because this one is over. Say bye, Harrison. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sorry to leave you so soon. Was that a good